Welcome to your county's new WebGIS 3.0. We here at GIS Workshop have made a number of improvements to the site, from making it mobile friendly, adding a Google style search bar, increasing the loading speed of the website, and more. Much of the same functionality of the 2.0 version is still here, along with some new features and enhancements. The opening screen displays the disclaimer, the help section where video tutorials will be housed, links pertinent to the county, the county's calendar, county contact information, an FAQ section, and an about section which displays when different data sets were last updated. Once you hit go, you're live on the site. Across the top of the website are all of your different county department tabs. If your county subscribes to a tab, it will light up and if your county does not currently subscribe to a tab, it will remain visible, but will be shaded black. In the very top right hand corner of the screen are the login and the help buttons. If your county has a subscription system in place and you are a subscriber, you will use this login button to log into the website. The help button gives general tips for using the website and also gives users access to the FAQ section where they can get answers to frequently asked questions. Right below the login and the help buttons is the search bar that we designed to be like a Google style search bar. We will be covering the search bar in greater detail in our search bar training video. On the extreme right hand side of the page in this upper right hand corner are the zoom in and the zoom out buttons. Pressing these allows the user to zoom in and out of the map, which you can also do using the wheel of your mouse. On the left hand side of the screen below the county name are drop down menus that has the various tools, layers, and base maps of the WebGIS. All of the tools and layers that you had on the old website will still be accessible within these expandable and collapsible drop down menus. The only new addition that you will see are the additional base map options that we now offer, including a topographic map with topo lines and a terrain map. To use a tool, simply click on a tool such as the identify tool. And for the identify tool, we're going to go ahead and click on a parcel to return results for that parcel. And if we click on the owner's name, we'll be able to bring the assessor report card up right within our screen. You'll note that we provide you the ability to continue working within the WebGIS screen by quickly accessing the report card right here instead of taking you off the page like our old website did. You also have the ability to export and print and we'll cover this in greater detail in our upcoming video tutorial called Reports, Exports, and Printouts. When you're done using a tool, make sure you clear using the clear button. On the bottom right hand side of the screen, you're going to notice that there's a date stamp, which indicates when your website was last updated. The website and the information on the website is now being updated every single night. And you can also see a latitude and longitude marker that gives you an exact lat long reading based on where you place your cursor on the map. Finally, this new WebGIS was designed with the mobile user in mind. If you shrink your web browser down, you're going to receive a pop-up that notifies you that your screen, your current screen size and resolution may work better in a mobile version of the website. So we'll switch over to mobile mode here. And you can switch between mobile and desktop mode right here on the website. The mobile mode maximizes your map space. This is also how it's going to appear on a smartphone or other mobile device that you may be using. All the same tools and functions are still here. And to access the tools in the different county departments or the login and the help buttons, you're going to click on the options menu in the upper left hand corner. To search, you're going to click on the search icon in the upper right hand corner. We'll go ahead and search for an owner name and it's going to bring us our results right here in the screen. Again, this is the mobile view that's been designed for your smartphone or your tablet. This concludes a brief overview of our new WebGIS 3.0.
Thank you for joining us and please check out our other video tutorials if you need assistance.